made a bunyip at a new estate today on the outskirts of uh, Melbourne, out in the far east. On a big piece of granite in a trench, who would have guessed? You can see here they've given it a really good hammer massage with a 26 tonne machine and a breaker. It took three and a half hours to turn that little bit to dust and they decided it was not very successful. And up here there's a lot of uh, diamond saw cuts in it and that didn't really help very much either. So you'd think the best thing to do would be to blast it, but no, no, they won't let me blast it. The reason being just over here, about four metres across, is a, uh, a 30 inch uh, diameter gas pipeline. Normal operating pressure is 1100 PSI up to 1500 PSI and the owners are a bit concerned about it. I don't know why, it's four metres away. We could, uh, we could blast this and uh, only be about 10% of the um, allowable vibration spec but that's what they want. So we're going to use Expando cracking goo uh, and the only way to really get this stuff to work in a trench is to make it a V trench, that's drill both sides um, drill them pretty deep, a line along both sides so that um, the ends of the hole sort of meet in a, an apex below the uh, invert and fill it full of goo and it usually sort of cracks and pops up a bit then they can battle with the breaker to get it out. Yeah, good fun. Why not just blast it? But that's what they want so that's what we do. Okay, got uh, a dozen holes drilled there, 1150 deep, ready to fill. Should take about 30 kilos of Expando. And I'll be mixing it with uh, cold water. I bought some ice along because it's quite hot today. You don't want to use warm water or it'll go off too quick and cause you all sorts of problems. Now, if you're watching this because you're going to use Expando or a similar sort of product for a, a project yourself, Please take the safety precautions very seriously. Okay, when you're mixing this stuff or pouring it, whatever, you need eye protection and respiratory protection. You don't want to get this stuff in your eyes or your lungs, or it's real bad. Just to give you some idea of how nasty it can be, this little Pyrex jug here is etched, right? That just, that lives in the mixing bucket. And just from sitting in the bucket, between jobs, the uh, the compound has etched the surface of it. I believe it's a, got a pH of about 15, so you don't want it in your eyes. All right, we'll uh, mix them up and pour it down the holes. Okay, I've got uh, three litres of water in the bucket, nice cold water. Uh, I'll mix two bags of Expando with that, and that'll fill four holes, maybe a bit more. High protection is a must.
well, two days have passed since I filled the um, first row of holes with goo. I'm a bit disappointed actually, it hasn't cracked very well. Sort of starting to open it up, but I really did want a bit more action. Don't know if the expando's a bit lazy or maybe I was a bit lazy. Probably I was a bit lazy actually, not putting enough angle on the holes. Because it's quite difficult drilling sloping holes. So what I've done here, I've just um, interspersed the first holes with uh, another short hole, only half the length, um, to give it a bit of help. And some lay flat tube in there so that the expando doesn't uh, seep out into the crack. So I've drilled the other side. These ones are spaced at 300 instead of 400, and the angle's quite a bit shallower. So now we just play the waiting game again. Back again. It's Monday morning. Sides have all cracked out pretty good. A few little pieces there just come out with the ripper easily. Um, I've drilled the guts of this with a dice 5 pattern. Getting ready to fill it. And um, just take the temperature of the holes of course. You fill the first hole you draw with water and leave it for a while, take its temperature. It's 28 degrees. It's a bit of a worry. Uh, maximum temperature for the greater goo I got is 25. So it's likely to eject out of the holes. But there again, it's getting on in age and it maybe is not quite as reactive as it is when it's new. So I'll probably give it a go anyway. It's damn hot here today, it's over 30 degrees first thing in the morning. Overnight low was 30C or 29C or something. And the rock's warm, what do you expect? Oh well. Okay, all the holes are full of goo. I've lined the holes with lay flat tubing and put a cable tie around the top to keep the rain out because it's going to bucket down this afternoon, tonight and tomorrow. Uh, it's Monday, so we'll come back on Wednesday and have a look and probably pull it all out. All being well. Well, two days have passed since I uh, drilled the fill-in holes. Up the middle of this bit of trench. And we've got some cracking happening. So we're just going to try and pull it out. I think he's just going to try the ripper first. I reckon the break is the order of the day though.
here's the finished product. Trench through granite without explosives, just using chemical cracking agent. Not an easy job, but it can be done. As long as you don't mind drilling lots of shallow angled holes, which is quite difficult with a hand drill. Another one bites the dust. <laughs>